Hello everyone, this is Asian Rajib and welcome to my first video tip of Modern Warfare Remastered. For the first video, we'll be taking a look at submachine guns. There are 5 submachine guns total, MP5, Scorpion, Mini Uzi, AK-74U, and P90. They are generally effective at close range, with main attributes of high fire rate and mobility. The downsides are low range and accuracy except for the few. It is possible to classify all submachine guns into three separate categories. High damage SMG, the Scorpion itself, and low damage SMGs. High damage SMGs are the MP5 and AK-74U. They will kill within three shots at close range and fire at the distance. Both SMGs also share the same range as well as the fire rate at 800 rounds per minute. The MP5 however has a faster race time after its printing, while the AK-74U has a higher zoom when aiming and the assault rifle grade penetration with a cost of a slower movement speed when not aiming. Aiming while moving with the 74U will grant a normal SMG speed. These weapons are best used when going loud, as the silencer will make it less competitive at close range, and you often need it 5 shots to kill when the range is being dropped. Faster SMGs like the Mini Uzi and P90 are better suited when suppressed, with faster fire rate and a low differential between maximum and minimum damage. Note that the AK-74U has a reduced hipfire accuracy when equipped with either the red dot or silencer, so it is best to use this gun with no attachments. For the perk, Bandolier is useful with all SMGs as they consume ammo faster than any other weapon primary classes. Stopping power is essential to further enhance its already high damage. Deep Impact is a good pairing with the 74U to better penetrate anyone behind cover, and lastly the Extreme Conditioning is good with the MP5 for the third tier perk helping you to get to places faster with an extended sprint time. Next category is the Scorpion itself, with its many unique characteristics that deserve its own spot. It has a high damage, only 2 shots needed to kill at close range, but it quickly drops up within 5 meters and will need 5 shots outside this range. It also has the lowest recoil of all SMGs and a good fire rate at 857 rounds per minute but it comes with only 20 rounds per magazine. This makes the Scorpion effective for a close range defense or at extreme distances if you spot the enemy first. The red dot is the attachment that can aid your accuracy, ensuring all shots are connect and waste less ammo given its short magazine size. For the perks, Bandolier helps with the Scorpion short ammo supply. Stopping power only benefits the minimum damage, but with only 4 shots needed to kill, it is better to conserve the ammo with one less shot needed. The third tier perk is open, so either the steady aim or extreme conditioning would be my recommendation. Lastly, there's a low damage SMGs, consists of the Mini Uzi and P90. Both guns will kill within 4 shots at close range, then drops up to 5 shots at medium range. These SMGs have a really high fire rate, with the Mini Uzi fires at 952 rounds per minute, fastest in class, while the P90 fires at 937 rounds per minute. The Mini Uzi has 32 rounds per magazine, with its well-known characteristics of high recoil and slow reload time, but the fast fire rate makes it effective when spraying at close range. The P90 however has 50 rounds per magazine which is larger in its class, but with a slower fire rate and low damage makes it the time to kill the slowest of all SMGs at close range. For the attachment, I recommend using the silencer for both SMGs, with a high fire rate makes up for the low differential between maximum and minimum damage, since you only need one more shot needed to kill outside close range. For the perks, Bandoli increases the ammo supply and essential with these SMGs that will consume ammo really quickly. Slide of hand is useful with the Mini Uzi due to its slow reload speed, given that you will reload really often with a high fire rate weapon. For the P90's stopping power makes it more competitive against other SMGs in terms of time to kill at close range. For the third tier, it can be fielded with a steady aim or dead silence. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a slower paced game, even with the SMG, you should still consider playing in more cautious tactics. The tip with any SMG is to get close, as their low damage and high recoil makes it difficult to compete against other weapon classes with better range. You need to get even closer with low damage SMGs like the Mini Uzi and P90 to be effective. While the MP5, Scorpion, and the AK-74U, you have a loose tolerance on larger maps. 
but should you spot the enemies that are further away, then you should be able to engage with the full auto to simply burst fire, as long as you spot the enemy first. You want to aim down the sights before entering any rooms or gunfights, and with superior movement speed while aiming down the sights, you can easily strafe to enemies prepared. Be sure to stop sprinting when getting close to the enemy's position or buildings, otherwise there's a high chance of you getting killed while sprinting. Only sprint when you need to get from one location and another. And that's a wrap for this first video of Modern Warfare Remastered Tips. For the next video, we'll be returning to Infinite Warfare and covering the video maker's epic variant, Smoke. This is Asian Rajib, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.